One of the hardest things in America is making money. Business seems super complicated and stuff like that. And without starting a business or doing some crazy drop shipping scheme, it seems like it's going to be impossible for you to make money, for you to get a house, for you to achieve financial freedom. And I can't teach you how to make a business, but I know how to save money. Okay. The power of saving is enough to get you a house because I am a high school dropout and I bought a house. Saving was a core principle, one of the most fundamental principles of me getting a house. And I can show you how to start. I hear that's my number one complaint I hear from people that are in my socioeconomic class is that they can't save money. It's easy for me, but somehow they can't do it. But a lot of that is because of a few core common misconceptions about saving money and just a lack of strategy. And that's what I'm here to provide you today in this episode of how to grow wealth, how to unfuck your life. So with that being said, let's just shrink myself and hop right into the strategies. So how to grow wealth, save money is today's episode premise. We're going to be focusing on how to save money. I don't know how to make money, but I know how to save money. I've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for a long, long time. I've been saving for like five years, starting with $10.50 an hour and living with my girlfriend. I now own a house. I am a high school dropout. I said that in the intro. Just wanted to reiterate again, keep the flow going. So step one would be to determine if you are going to get married. And if you're going to get married, find a partner. This is going to make things a lot more easier for you. If you want to get married, it's better to figure that out and then get that figured out first before entering your the start of your game. You know, your game doesn't start. For me personally, I feel like you don't start the game of life until you know that question. Am I going to get married? Am I going to have family and kids? Sit down, reflect, ask yourself that question. Yes or no is going to tell you which way to go. And if you answer yes, then this is the video for you. But if not, even if you answer no, it's just still the video for you. Instead of a wife or husband or a partner, roommates you just change to roommates or stay at home whatever same strategy applies but it is very important for you to figure that out yourself because you don't want to be hung up in the other scenario you know what i mean like if you don't want or if you do want a family and you're living with roommates and stuff like that like let's say four or five roommates it's easier to save than if you're going to live with a girlfriend because it's really hard to have a girlfriend or a husband or a boyfriend and have three or four other roommates because it's going to cause extra extra social conflict. So that's why I say do that first. So step two, super simple. That first part, super complicated. Step two, super simple. Pull out one of these bad boys. A piece of paper, grab yourself a pen, okay? Step three, make a mental goal to save. And then the trick to this is to start small because this is where most people are going to get hung up. Making the goal to save, you won't do it because you believe it's impossible. You have a belief against this principle. I cannot save. When you say that, if you believe that, that means you believe it to be true. So regardless, it's that cognitive dissonance at work. Regardless if it's true or not, because you believe it, that is a reality. You've seen multiple movies on this type of philosophy, mentality, stuff like that. But I'm here to tell you, it is possible to save no matter where you're at, okay? So what you do is go, okay, I'm gonna save. And how you do that is you make a goal to save and you start small. So again, now let's just move on. Step four, I'm gonna break your belief here. So step four, write down everything you spend per month. So da 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 I got groceries, got my, got my rent, got my cigarettes, my beer. This was me, this was me. I got my, my Hulu, got my, uh, got my Netflix, Got my uh, McDonald's, me too. I get like uh, three McDonald's and a large fry every single time. Been doing that for the last 10 years, maybe 20 years, I don't know. Um, da, 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 da. You know, you got, your, you got your expenses. So you got your monthly expenses. Here's mine, see? Really good, really good list. Write it down. Step five, make a cut. And this is how I know you can save money. Okay, so, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, I spend 500, or I make $500 a month and I spend $500 a month, okay? How can I save any money? Uh, save a penny. Can you save a penny? Can you save a dollar? Can you save two dollars? Can you save three dollars? It's a lot easier to start low and move up. You know what I'm saying? A penny. Anybody can save a penny. And I will fight you if you think, if anybody's going to tell me you can't save a penny. If you can't cut a penny from your budget. If you can't cut a penny, we're going to fight. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. So that breaks down your belief system that you cannot save money. Yes, it's a stupid 
amount of money and it's worthless but the point is now we've broken through your belief that you cannot save money and then it's easier to work up from there you know what i mean it's easier to work up from two pennies three pennies four pennies five pennies etc 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 you know what i'm saying it starts small that's how beliefs change you start you break through it's either a traumatic experience or it is a small breakthrough i like small breakthroughs so you don't have to destroy your entire life to make changes anyway so let's go back to the list i'm way off on a tangent if it's hard make cuts if it's hard make a goal to cut spending down by one dollar I said one dollar in here, but I wanted to go farther than that and say a penny because there's people who push back on me. I couldn't save a dollar, bro. And I know for a fact you can you can save a penny. And I'll fight you if you can't save a penny. You're lying, and I'll fight you anyway. You need to do something that's so easy that it feels stupid. This breaks through your belief. I cannot save money because of X, Y, Z. Then once that that is done, you feel stupid saving one dollar and. If you can save one dollar, do it a couple times. From how silly you'll feel from like doing the simplest thing possible to like save yourself a dollar, you'll want to do more because you feel stupid doing it. You know what I mean? When you feel silly, you're just like, oh, this is silly. This is like a little kid can do this. So I'm an adult, so I can save ten dollars a week. Okay, and that's kind of it will happen. Do what I said. Do it in this way. I'm fifty percent. You know, fifty fifty. Whether unless you want this to not work, this will work. That is what I'm saying, 100%. This will work if you want it to work, but if you don't want it to work, there's a 50-50 shot it's still going to work. Anyway, bonus tips, because why not? Those are the five main core strategies to save money. And with starting to save money, you will save more over a longer period of time. The more you try to save money, the more you will most likely increase the amount of money you save because there's a thing called healthy user bias it's is where people who perceive things as healthy who are trying to get healthier the studies were done blah blah, blah 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 look it up healthy user bias people who perceive things to be healthy because they're trying to become healthy will bias things they perceive to be healthy or over a longer period like over a longer period of time they'll try to do more healthy things over a longer period of time it's pretty much like the snowball effect it's just whatever look it up do whatever you want to do it's a thing whatever i'm not going to sit here and defend myself to a bunch of people i don't really no at all so here are the bonus tips it's easier to go up than it is to go down that's what i'm saying so if you started a penny it's easier to go up but if you try to save a thousand dollars and you fail you're gonna feel a lot worse trying to save nine hundred dollars you're gonna feel a lot worse trying to save ten dollars you know what i'm saying so it's a lot easier to start small than to go up than it is to come down okay boom that's a big one i think that's a big tip let me draw a big underline underneath it bam let me circle it let me draw an arrow to it you're gonna want this one this one's a really good one. That's a really good, it's going to, it's going to cross to a bunch of different areas in your life that you're not even aware of yet. Oh, I circled the wrong thing. That is really funny that I did that. Anyway, here we are. I embarrassed myself. Now you can embarrass yourself, embarrass yourself saving a penny. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Do not do those auto savers. Okay. This is a good one. Those auto savers, they, they rob the joy of you accomplishing something. The attaboy you'll give yourself by saying take the five dollars from your checking account da, 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 off your phone and moving it into your savings that's a dopamine hit small dopamine hit sure big old dopamine hit when i first started doing it i got addicted the more i do it got more addicting got more dopamine it just started momentum and i wanted to do it more i wanted to do it more ten dollars was enough eleven dollars twelve dollars thirteen dollars fourteen dollars fifteen dollars so much so that me and my girlfriend were getting in fights because i didn't want to give her money for bills because i was trying to save money I'd be like, well, do we really need to pay for rent do we need really need water we really need water there's water everywhere we can go to quick trip Okay. Every paycheck, I would put $20 into the savings account because it felt bad to take money out of my savings. This bonus tip is that once the money goes into your savings, with a conscious effort to maintain the savings, it is going to hurt you to take it out of your savings. If money's in your checking account, it's meant to be spent there, right? But if it's meant to be not spent in another account, you're going to feel bad, therefore putting yourself up an emotional barrier between you and taking away your savings. So just... Making a goal to just put $20 in there. Every paycheck I'd get. That's how I started. $20. Bang. Pop it in. Okay? Another game I did myself was all money in my wallet goes into a savings container that says six-month emergency. Now, I mean, that's a dumb-sounding game, right? But essentially what it is is every time I get home, I would open the wallet up and dump it into a container. And then that kind of taught me that if I didn't want to have money put in there i won't have any money in my wallet so then i was less likely to be spending money i mean there's credit cards and stuff like that but this was before i was even using a lot of credit i was spending a lot of things on cash so i'd come home and it started with change but then i upgraded it to ones and fives as well i'd leave 20s and stuff in my bed in my wallets in case i needed them but then when i spend it 
metal change and ones and fives would go into this container and it added up very quickly every day because I would just throw it all in there and then I'd have to start back over this is why I want you to have a partner I want you to have a this is why I brought up the step one the rule I put on it is that I'm only allowed to touch it which is easier to hold accountable with a spouse or partner um, I'm only allowed to touch it. Didn't finish the sentence. I'm kind of stupid. Sorry, you're gonna have to bear with me here. But the only I'm only allowed to touch it if there is a six month emergency. This is why I named it that game. Like one of the things I wanted to save money. One of the things I always wanted in my life was a six month emergency fund that if I ever lost my job because I broke my leg or something like that, I'd be able to pay bills for six months and still be okay. Allow myself to heal. Allow myself so I'm not trapped. It was kind of my first fuck you money to companies and stuff like that. But yeah, so all these little tips and tricks. I'm a little bit buzzed right now, so I'm not going to be like super concise with all this shit and whatever, but you can get the, you can get the gist of what I'm talking about and um, start saving money. Start making money, bro. Once you save money, you're making money, bro. You start valuing money. Once money is valued because you're saving it, you're, you're, you're being more conscious about it. You'll grow wealth. Just start thinking about it. The only time you're not like this is another bonus hot tip. The only time in my life I ever was it. Growing my wealth is when I didn't care about it. Like when I was just spending the money, bro. I'd get the money and I'd spend the money. I didn't care about it. But saving your money is just one step towards caring a little bit more about your money. And when you care about the money, you don't spend it as much. So hope you get rich. Hope you fucking... All, the, all your dreams, your wildest dreams come true. But it does start with small, actionable steps that you can take today. So with that being said, Ojama Garrett's peace out. Subscribe to this channel. If you're this far into this video, I should have said this a little bit earlier, maybe five minutes ago. If you're this far into this video, you should be subscribed to my channel. Just saying, if you're this far into this video, you listen to me rant 12 minutes, you should be subscribed to my channel. Daily content. I mean, I know I missed yesterday, but I'm going to try to do daily content and I'm shifting mine to a financial coaching slash just coaching life coach type channel. I want to provide you with daily content. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Good luck. And as I figured out more stuff, I'm giving it to you guys. Peace out.